Hello everybody, this is Karma Killed the Cat, and this is going to be a bit of a different video. It's going to be an announcement video. So, as you've probably noticed, I haven't posted a video in a little over two weeks. And that is because I've been on vacation for the past month. I managed to get two videos pre-recorded, and I announced that I was going to be on vacation in the last video. So, that's my explanation for the lack of videos. I will start posting videos again on... Not a normal schedule, but that brings me into the next topic. So, while I was on vacation, I looked over all of my old Lua videos, just for fun, and I realized that they were all terrible. Really, up to the uh, math library tutorial, they were all pretty bad. Um, I just missed information a lot. Uh, once or twice I even said something that was wrong, and in the first maybe ten videos, I was just really awkward so that combined with the fact that I have found a new Lua IDE that will let me use Lua 5.2 thank you Zillareco I think I'm pronouncing that right if I'm not sorry but thanks to him he suggested a new IDE that lets me use Lua 5.2 so for those two reasons I'm going to be restarting the Lua tutorials and I'm gonna just record them as in bulk as I can and release them as fast as possible without flooding your sub boxes. So I'll try to limit it to one a day at the most so I won't be posting like five at once because I hate it when people do that. So I will be restarting the Lua tutorials and that means this, or not this series, but the Lua tutorial series that I was doing before has technically ended but don't worry we've gone over pretty much everything there were only a few more specific little functions and topics that we'd have to go over maybe five more tutorials but you can do pretty much anything you want to already with the C library the other things we had to go over were very specific and you'd only use them in very specific situations so you're not really missing too much, and I will be releasing the videos on them just after I create the new Lua tutorial series. So, I'm going to try to make the new series a lot more professional. I'll plan the episodes out, because I wasn't doing that before. I was just kind of winging it and just going over everything I knew. So, I'll plan the new videos out, so I won't miss anything, and I won't definitely won't say anything that's wrong this time, so... Look forward to that. It'll hopefully be a lot better than the, than the old series. So the next two things that I want to talk about, I want your feedback on. So the first is if you've been following Apple News, you'll know that they released their next wave of software and hardware, new iOS and OS X, and a bunch of other things. But what I'm interested in is the new programming language they've released. So if you don't know anything about Apple development, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to use their language called Objective-C, which is a mix of C and an, an old language called Smalltalk. So basically it's just a slower version of C++. Anything you can do in Objective-C, almost anything you can do in Objective-C, you can do in C++. So what I am using for the iOS app I'm making now is Corona, which uses Lua. It's another game library that lets you release on iOS and Android, but I'll talk about that later. So I wasn't using Objective-C because I don't like it as a language, but now that they've released their new language, Swift, I checked it out and it actually looks pretty cool. I like it a lot more than Objective-C, and it makes things a lot easier. So I'm thinking about starting a new series, a tutorial series with Swift. So. I'd like your feedback on whether or not you'd want me to make the series, so tell me in the comments if you want it, and if I don't get any comments, I'll just make it anyway. So the next thing that I want to talk about is the game programming series. I'm definitely going to be doing a game programming series, but the, what I need feedback on is what API I should use, or not API, library. So there are three options, because there are three APIs that it, I keep saying that, libraries that I know how to use, and those options are the Corona SDK, SFML, or C-Sharp XNA. So 
leave in the comments which one I should use. I'm open to all of them, but I would prefer SFML, but if you want something else, then I'm completely open to that. I like them all. So leave that in the comments, and I'll start the series right after I finish the new Lua series. So that's all for this announcement video, and see you when I start the next Lua series.